Hey, buddy, watch this. Hello, hello, Regis Kilbin is the name, and Hearthstone is the game, and this is my latest deck spotlight where I spotlight a professional player's deck. And this time around, I have Zelay's new take on Cube Warlock. This one includes Mountain Giants, making it, of course, the Giants Cube Warlock. Now, Cube Warlock came onto the scene pretty quickly in Kobolds and Catacombs. It's pretty much everywhere on the ladder right now, but there are a few different ways to play it. You can play it for a little more value with things like Nazoth. You can play it for full OTK with things like Spirit Singer Umbra. This is another spin on the deck that runs some Mountain Giants to essentially give you another mid-game body that can really just apply a ton of pressure and put your opponent in some weird positions with a high friction 8-8 that early in the game. It also makes life tapping better so you don't feel so bad about life tapping into your combo pieces in this deck. So, outside of the Mountain Giants, it's a pretty standard looking cube warlock list at this point. So they're the really fun, interesting new part. You've got double Doom Guard, of course, double Carnivorous Cube, You've also got the Void Lords, the Skull of Minari, and Possess Lackey to pull out your Void Lords and your Doom Guards and to set up for your cubes. One other interesting little tech here is the Spellbreaker. Just because Spellbreaker is so good in the meta right now, just silencing other people's cubes, other people's Void Lords, or some good silence targets all across Hearthstone. It can also help you get through taunts if you need to, you know got five doom guards out there you need to kill your opponent spellbreaker can help you push through a taunt to do exactly that this deck also runs a prince taldarum to copy your carnivorous cubes if need be or sometimes just to copy doom guards to get those extra bodies on the board and the double faceless manipulator as well so still some stuff to work with some shenanigans possible thanks to these taldarums and these manipulators you can copy your cubes and do all kinds of doom guard stuff with your gold and eventually the potential is nearly limitless as you'll soon see in the games we're about to play so of course you can talk about a deck all day but it's mostly fun to watch it in action so let's go ahead and jump into the gameplay as it was recorded live on my twitch stream cube warlock i haven't played it yet i've been avoiding it i just i don't really want to play it everybody's playing it it feels like you're just hopping on the bandwagon if you play it to me at some point and my hair is like i used a different hair product today because i didn't have my stuff at the store yesterday and now it's like my hair is weirdly bothering me a lot i don't know We'll have to sort that out later, but um, anyway, this is uh, Cube Warlock, but it's Delay's list, and it has some giants in it, which I thought was an interesting enough spin, and it seems to be the list that's taking over amongst pros right now. Um, we're playing against Rogue, so we need to be sure we don't get off to too slow of a start. I think we'll have to take the Lackey route instead of the Minari route. Um, anyway, this is the list that seems to be gaining a lot of popularity with giants, so... Um, we're going to try this one instead. That might be good to see, but I don't know if we're going to be tapping enough. Anyway, let's get the deck list up, of course. Don't freak out, guys. Don't. Don't freak out. I'm still here. There it is. We're back. Oh, man. This is like a good anti-aggro start, if I want to. But I also kind of want to get a Mountain Giant out. I guess we don't need the Mountain Giant since we have the Lackey line. Like, we can just, um, Mortal Coil Coin Mistress. Like, we don't have to go the Mountain Giant route. I don't think this is a Mountain Giant matchup. I think Mountain Giant's are a little better against Control. Um, uh, your hair looks great. Thanks, Dave, y'all. Dude, appreciate it. So the win condition in this deck is just putting your face at the keyboard and rolling it around. Probably. Um, uh, Ray, the fiancé is indeed aware, yeah. She knows. That she, she wants to be the Hey Guys emote. She, she wants to pose for the photo. She was aware enough to suggest that uh, she wants to make sure her hair looks cute. So, she gets it. Okay. <clears throat> I really haven't played this deck before, so... I, I mean, I get the general gist of it, obviously, but I hope I don't make any misplays along the way. Like, small misplays. I think, I think most importantly is just understanding your win condition in any given matchup and playing towards that. But, uh... There's a chance we goof some things along the way, right? <clears throat> we do not have a turn four right now, other than Spellbreaker. It's probably okay. But lackeys are looking good. On five. Another South Sea Captain. Sure, that's fine. One Doom Guard in hand. Okay, so that makes it more likely our lackeys are going to hit a Void Lord than a Doom Guard, which I think is a little bit unfortunate. Do we tap here? 4-8. I kind of want to just play like Spellbreaker, guys. Or 
Maybe just Prince Taldarum. <laughs> like, maybe we just play a 3-3 here so we have something to do. Um, I really wish we had, like, a Spellstone, you know. Something a little more reactive. Um, next turn, we could go the Giants route, but we're probably going to go the Lackey route. I just feel like we need to play something. I don't want to take incidental face damage. I don't think we need a silence hardcore here, so... Let's just play this for the trade. Just to slow down a little bit. Like your new uh, Creeper remote, Pete. I see you're a sub to disguise Toast. Toasty Creeper. No judgment here. Love the pink spam guys looking good. Does Q-Block have a counter? I don't really know. Um, okay, that's fine. A little heavy on damage, unfortunately, but... Maybe we can just win soon. Defiles, clearly not gonna do the trick. We could've played Mountain Giant, but I I don't know, is that better? Maybe, but I, I really don't know. Void Lord could almost be good at this point, because we're taking a lot of damage. We're theoretically at 12, we're at 10. This guy's getting buffed a little bit. That's garbage. I'd love to see a Hellfire right now, I guess. Or is, wait, actually Defile is pretty sick here. Um, let's just Defile. Defile into... I could play a second Lackey in Defile. No, I can't. I don't have the mana for that. I can Defile and Taldarum, whatever we get. Is that good? Maybe. We could also dark pack that for health, but I don't think we need to just yet. I think we have a little bit of time. <clears throat> Are we going to get a Void Lord or a Doom Guard? A Doom Guard. 3-3 three, three Doom Guard is not particularly exciting. Um, I really wanted some health, guys. <clears throat> I could just... Well, we're not going to die. It's not Leroy yet. But what do I do with my remaining mana? Really wanted this to be a Void Lord, man. I'm sad. Um, next turn we can Lackey into Dark Pact. That's pretty good. I guess we're just going to hold. As garbage as that seems. I don't know. Like I said, there's going to be some turrets here where I figure out the stack a little bit. Where can I find this list? Uh, this is the Zelay Giants Warlock list. I can probably just Google it real fast for you. Zelay Giants Q Block. Um, I don't know, This I think this is close, if not the exact list. This is on Hearthbone. I didn't really look at it, to be honest, but... Oh, Tingus found it. Thank you, Tingus. I'm, I'm way behind. I'm sorry, buddy. You, you know what's up. You know how this works. Um, so we kill the Doomguard. Okay. So we're not going to have a cube Doom Doomguard sort of play here, ever. Because <clears throat> the, the discard here... <clears throat> Man, I'm losing my voice again. The discard's a little bit too punishing. I think we're going to have to just go the Void Lord route for right now. I think that's enough to win the game. So it's fine. He just used Vilespine Slayer. Hopefully this gets us through. We don't always have to pull the combo, right, guys? Sometimes your win condition can just be playing a Control Warlock deck. Uh... Who's streaming? What's happening? Murray is streaming? Is that what I'm hearing? Reed just finally gave into the cube. That's right. Hey, Arrow, man, I'm doing really well. Copy Doomguard? Why not? Uh, it's just because it's a 3-3, three, three, right? It's a 3-3 three, three Doomguard. I'd rather copy a potential Void Lord in the future if I can, right? Uh, even though that now also looks rather challenging, since he had the second Vile Spine. Um, I don't think we can ever Doom Guard. We have enough health now that I guess we can Life Tap a little bit. Second cube. Man, I don't really know what's right here, but... I guess since he used both Vile Spines, let's try the Giant route. We can even cube our Giant, maybe. Just to get a bunch of bodies sitting around on board. Do we go ahead and heal up here, or do we try to take value trades? Let's go ahead and heal up. 
<clears throat> Hopefully there's no Shadow Step, right? To, to kill this giant again. But once we get to Gul'dan, I think we'll be fine. Even though it's right now just a bunch of Void Walkers and a Void Lord and one Doom Guard, like, that should still be more than enough. If we can successfully make it to Gul'dan, we're going to be happy. Um, okay. That's a lot of damage, but at least we take a trade back. We can even trade and then cube, so that we're not losing that much on board. Um, Faceless Manipulator. <clears throat> Are we going to die if we trade and then cube and then Faceless? <clears throat> we could alternatively do, like, no. Trade, this is going to sound to one. He has six, seven damage remaining. That means he would need another seven. So Leroy Cold Blood, Leroy Shadow Step would both do it. We don't have any taunts. The Spellstone here doesn't do much, though. We need to, we need to take damage from our own cards for this to really be relevant. Um, we're never going to be able to kill these cubes either. Is that a consideration? Like, I, I can't play Doom Guard because it chances discarding the Gul'dan. Um... We could have just copied an 8-8. That might have been better in hindsight, but... I think we're just going to cube and tell Darum and hope for the best, right? We could just wait. I don't know. We'll see. We have four 8-8s coming out of these if they die, so... Hopefully that's enough to find a win. But I'm scared we're just dead, right? We could just be dead to Leroy. Leroy something. Yeah. Good morning, Regis and Chat. Hashtag charity. There it is. I didn't think this would have been enough anyway. Because it wasn't upgraded. We didn't have a taunt, so. I think we were dead no matter what we did that particular turn. There was probably a way to win that game long term, but that, that turn I think we were screwed. Um, could have also copied the taunted up Vile Spine. Um, yeah, we could have. That would have helped, actually. Yeah, that would have been good. With the Faceless, create a 7-8. I thought we had a turn, so we could just really be greedy that way, but it turns out we did not have a turn. In hindsight, that's a lot easier to say, but we didn't know for sure. But Mew, dude, thank you, Mew333, for the 250 bits and the hashtag charity, man. That's awesome. Appreciate it, Mew. I forgot to start this. Nobody's going to be here. Got to get my YouTube notifications going. For those of you that don't know, I still send out YouTube notifications for uh, streaming. Seems like people have trouble getting the Twitch notifications, so I send out a little thing on YouTube. Some of you have probably seen this if you're YouTube subs, but it's basically like a pseudo live stream. It's not actually a live stream because it's just a blank screen, but it uh, it says Regis is now live on Twitch. And that always brings a lot of viewers over from YouTube. We have like 250 viewers who move from YouTube every, uh, every single stream throughout the course of the stream. I think it's like 250. I don't know. Since I don't stream on YouTube anymore, though, I figured people still want to know. Let's see. Yesterday we had no 146 YouTube viewers show up. Not exactly uh, 250, but still a lot. But it's handy if you guys just watch your YouTube notifications, if that's how you used to get stream notifications. You should still know, as long as I remember to, to turn it on. Um, hey Regis, how are you? Finally caught the early stream. Nice, it's DB. I'm doing pretty well. How are you doing? I'm always doing pretty well, honestly. Is that ever worth a double mortal coil? I don't think so. Let's just tap it out. We have heal. We should have plenty of life gain. Aha. What deck is this, Regis? This is a giant's uh q block i've never really played q block before i wanted to play some q block this is a giant's version of q block uh we have nine cards so we can tap into ten and play mix mistress okay oh man my voice guys in my throat it's like hurting a little bit readers i think because of your icon with the pistol you aren't a full kids channel what does that mean Crystal. I don't know what being a full kids channel even implies. I have no idea what that is. So, you may be right. <laughs> There's a good chance you're right. But I, again, I, I don't know what that implies. Am I going to overdraw? I am going to overdraw. Crap. Um, we obviously don't need cards, so... 
That seems fine. <laughs> um, what and, and what uh, what does it mean to uh, to be a kids channel? Yeah, Fielding says my Twitch notifications are not working. Also, that seems to be the case for a lot of people. That's why I'm stressed about it. Some a lot of people have said that lately. We just get rid of the OTK cards and make a, a tempo deck from the cube and demons. The deck is more reliable. As a bad player, I made it to rank 11. <laughs> nice. Um, I'm hesitant to make any changes here just because I uh, I know that this deck is being played by some pretty crazy people at, at very high ranks. It seems to be their favorite right now. So I may be wrong. I don't know. But I'm going to test this version nonetheless. Um, <laughs> we have a terrible hand. No possessed lackeys and no... Skull of the Minari, and uh, the potential to discard Kultan. I don't know what else to do, though. I guess I could just play a Tempo Spellbreaker. Um, that's okay. Aha. Mm. I mean, we could just go for this, but it's got a pretty high likelihood to backfire. I don't know what the right call is there. Twitch works fine for me. That's nice. Famine. It's good to hear. Overdraw. Yeah, it's a risk. I'm super interested in knowing why you chose this version over the giant free version that Dog plays. Uh, no super logical choice. Just that, uh, like I said, this has been a deck that's been pretty popular over the last day or two. It's the Zelay Giants version. It's picking up a lot of steam. There's a lot of people tweeting it and liking this version giants basically gives you another kind of threat and cube option against control decks man we are having some garbage draws here i think i'm just gonna have to doom guard guys we don't have anything else to do um spellstone doesn't do the damage we need <clears throat> All right, let's just see what happens. We're going to lose Gul'dan and a cube. What do you want to bet? <laughs> All right, just a cube and a faceless. All right. Okay. That works too. I prefer the Giants version. Yeah, I, guys, I have not played the sick. <clears throat> Any. I've avoided cube lock. <clears throat> I'm not into the cube lock shenanigans that other everybody else is into. So, uh... I'm I'm still learning about it, and uh, I don't have a favorite or a reason or a logical de defense of anything that's happening here. Cannot play Spellstone if I play this, but uh, I'm not super worried about his armor total, I don't think. He just meteored. This could be a fairly hard thing for him to actually pull off. So let's, to kill this, I mean, um, let's just hold here. We can cube it and tell Darum it may be in the future. Uh, morning, Treetop. How's it going? Are there any close to good lists for the darkness? Um, I saw one on Twitter like this morning. Oh, second meteor. Great that he had that in hand. That's super awesome. <laughs> hey, a possessed lackey, a card I can play. Booyah. We have 10 cards again. Okay. All right, let's try to make this one work. We're gonna get. Uh, we might get a Doom card. It's certainly possible. Can't tap. We're full of cards again. Uh, what are your thoughts on Secret Tempo Mage? It's pretty good. I played some of it yesterday, this week, a couple times. Yay! He's got another answer. Takes one out of the pool, even. Why? Don't we never get Void Lords when we want them. I guess Doom Guard was theoretically okay there too, but. We didn't have the mana. Maybe I has to, maybe I just had to wait a turn. It just feels like we can never um, can never get there though. It feels like everything's wrong on mana. Maybe we should have just waited a turn to guarantee it. But he would have polymorphed a cube anyway. So what difference would it have made? I guess zero difference, right? I'm down to eight cards left. <laughs> uh. We still have some stuff to cube, so I guess we can wait on the cube. Uh, do we tap? We can't really tap, so we just hold. Maybe I should have just played Gul'dan, but I wanted to get Void Lords out before we go Dan. Um, <clears throat> Jaina. Oh boy. 
That doesn't look good. What are your thoughts? Oh, I answered that. Um, a ticking abomination. <laughs> what are we worrying about taking a bomb? I guess we're never gonna get Void Lords, so it's kind of tough. We drew Lackey and Skull. They're both at the very, very bottom of the deck. It's kind of our two two ways to empower. So we were just sitting on this weird, awkward hand the whole game, and nothing ever lined up. Plus, we never got our Spellstones activated. Spellstone seems tough in this deck. There's not that many ways to activate. I mean, Hellfire does, but I guess we can Hellfire Stone that something. But I just don't know how we win here. What's our win condition? I don't think anything's left after the Jaina. The double meteor kind of killed us. Uh, what's the role of Tadarim in this deck? Just to copy another cube. Just to make more cube bodies. Like Faceless. So does he have another Polymorph, guys? That might be a win condition here. Can go ahead and cube our Mountain Giant. And then we have, if the cube were to live, but it's probably going to get polymorphed, right? <laughs> Nothing works right. Um, he might have another polymorph. Let's just try, though. I don't know what choice we have at this point. And then hopefully the cube survives and we uh, can, can copy our cube as well. And then we're going to have four giants sitting out there. <coughs> Man. And this is going to turn into a dude, so that's sad, but I don't want to try to... Cube it, like I don't think it's worth it. Let's try this. See a hard on for potatoes, man. I've learned that you should never take the risk. I played the Doom Guard and discarded Skull and Goltan. I said screw it and played the second to discard both of my cubes. It was a full hand. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying. And he did have the second polymorph, so we pretty much have zero chances to win here, I think. <laughs> like that was our biggest concern. I should have traded this in as well to deny the ping. I'm I'm not paying attention now because I think we're inevitably dead. We only have five cards remaining and no win condition, so I'm not feeling great about our chances here, guys. We have literally zero outs at this point. Um Hellfire trade defile. Is that going to do anything? Mm, no. We don't have any two attack dudes. Never mind. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. I, I don't even feel like continuing to play because we're just so dead. We don't have enough cards left. We don't have any win conditions. I'm just going to concede this one. It's going to take too long to play out. Let's just finish it and get going again. Um, hey, at Naras, how's it going? Uh, didn't you say one time in the stream that your kids were on the gaming channel but YouTube doesn't recognize you? No, I didn't say that. I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know a kids friendly was a thing. I think I probably am a kids friendly gaming channel, but I didn't know that YouTube called that out specifically. I feel like you're holding on to Taldarum too much. When would we have used him there? I don't... There was never a good copy target. It's not like Faceless where you're getting the stats to copy. It's just... It's a 3-3. What was the good target? Maybe Lackey that one time? But, uh... Beyond that, I don't know... I don't know how many good targets we've had. Hey, Mill Regis. How's Paladin... How Paladin is going... Uh, I never thought of Mill Paladin. That's a great idea, can't guess. I never heard that one before. We should try that. <laughs> we should try that out. I feel like Hellfire is going to be pretty good against Shaman. Uh, play a Shaman. We, we just did a Shaman yesterday. It was the worst deck I've ever made. Worst deck I've ever made. You're no Minecraft streamer, so you are kid-friendly indeed. Yep. Man, drawing the Doom Guards again. How often does this happen? I just feel like I'm not going to like this deck. I, <laughs> everybody loves it, but I just... I feel like there's some internal bias I have against it. I don't know what it is, but I just wasn't into it when I saw it right away. I'm still not feeling into it. It feels... I, it, apparently it's good, but it's feel, feeling awkward to me so far. Maybe it'll click eventually. Like I said, I really don't have any, any experience playing this one or even watching it, so... I'm sure there are micro misplays with our game plan that are happening pretty consistently, but...
but again, I just don't know what they are. This this is good. I feel like maybe this is finally going to make us feel like we're doing something right, and that is not what I expected to see at all. This guy's probably playing Shaman for Hex and Devolve, right, because it's so good against Cube Warlock. I'm, I'm finally playing Cube Warlock at the time when, like, everybody is playing Cube Warlock, and it's suddenly countered. I probably waited too long because I didn't want to play it, you know. We have nine cards. If we tap, we're going to need to burn, like, the coin. Probably. We could just, like, Taldarum that. That's actually kind of a cool play. That way we're lined up better for our uh, Mountain Giant next turn. I'm actually pretty chill with this play. <laughs> just, just to set up for the Mountain Giant alone, really. Not because I care about necessarily this board or anything, obviously. I mean, a 3-3 Primal Fin is a cool play, don't get me wrong. But uh, I mostly just want to set up for this guy on 4 and this guy on 5. I'm first? Uh, no, Pink Pink. There's 146 people here. <laughs> You're 30 minutes into the stream. Uh, it happens when you show up, you don't see any chats just yet, so it can look like you're first sometimes. 3 3 Murloc Totem. It's actually really good, right? It's hard to kill, it takes trades. Like, what a baller play. Um, we could go ahead and coin Skull of the Minari, but I think uh, an 8 8 is just too good. It's not a very good Devolve target. It's a good Hex target if he's running Hex, so that's his plan. Not a very good Devolve target, though. Maelstrom Portal, sure, sure. This looks like it's gonna live. That's nice. We go ahead and load up Skull, but we don't actually have um, a cube yet. I'd also really like to Hellfire. I think we're just gonna Hellfire, guys. We can play the Skull next turn. Hellfire here is pretty darn sneaky. You might be able to Jade Lightning this now, but... Honestly, that's okay at this point. We got the Skull line coming, so... That'll be a lot of damage coming for too long. Wow, no Jade Lightning it looks like, maybe. Nice, if you can't clear this, it's gonna do some work. Uh, we might have to, like, Spellstone to hit face for 8 again. Or just, uh, Spellstone to kill that. Could trade Defile. No, that doesn't feel very good. Um... We're gonna have... Two mana left after we... Spellstone. I guess we just spellstone this and trade the 8 attack in here to save some life on this guy. Go face for 2. Maybe play Kobold Librarian. I don't see any opportunity for like a lethal or anything, do we? Doom Guard. No. I still, I, we could de trade Defile, but I don't think there's a lethal there either, right? We can only ever get to 13 and this would die and heal, so. And this would be close to dead too. Alright, let's just do this, garbage. Well, we can do this first. Floyd Lord doesn't change anything. I think this board is worth preserving, by the way, just because he didn't have an answer to this last turn, so... He may not have an answer again. What deck are you playing? This is a Giant's Cube Ward Lock. Giant's Cube War Lock. Cube Lock, basically, but with Giants. Okay, well, okay, that's a pretty slow turn. That's a good Skull uh -huh. opportunity, I think. Does he run weapon removal, I wonder? He might. He might just run weapon removal to screw with us. He's probably, like, thinking he's a counter deck for cubes. Uh, Johnston T. 08 Johnston T. Thank you, Johnston T, for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome, welcome, man. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your new sub badge. Thank you for the support. Appreciate it, of course, as always, as you might imagine. Thank you for all the love, dude. Goes a long way. Ooh, Hello. Hello there. So we, we go ahead and dark-packed our cube here, right, guys? Because we think he might be running Devolve. 
we could try to faceless it later for like some super cheese, but uh, since we're pretty confident he's running Devolve, we want to go ahead and dark packed it, right? Like that's that's got to be the right move, right? It's also just worth some face damage, which is pretty cool. Could tap first, I guess, to heal more. Not gonna play anything else, so let's tap first. This just plays around the hex slash devolve stuff, right? And it gets me two five sevens, which is pretty polar. That's not a bad. It's not a bad board. At the end of the day, yeah. So there's the devolve we were thinking about. That was the right call. Um, sure. They're not uh, Doom Guards, but they're solid. <laughs> I'll take it. And that's game, yep. There we go, that's how the deck is supposed to work. Finally hit the weapon, and finally won a game. Like, that tells us a lot. Hit a lackier weapon on time, and the deck feels a lot, lot better. Um, throw in a number for OTK. Well, yeah, this deck is, like, trying to not do that. The, the point of this list is to be a little more consistent and have, like, less cheese with the OTK and more consistency with big-bodied mountain giants and like a second kind of opportunity to, to play the value game because Goldian can still ultimately be a, an OTK in the late game if you get out the stuff you want but uh, this makes it a little easier to be consistent until then gives you a strong mid game play with mountain giants 3-3 <clears throat> Murloc totem synergy with Goldian though how is Murloc totem synergizing with Goldian maybe I'm missing it um Johnson says, just came back to Hearthstone with WoW being so boring lately. Uh, I've learned so much from your videos on YouTube. Sorry it took so long to get to the Twitch channel. Hey, no worries, Johnson T, man. I'm glad you made it. Uh, and thanks for the kind words. Welcome, dude. And I'm glad the videos are working out for you. Hey, Shagwagon. Good calls that game. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> it felt better. I'll say that. It felt better that time. I think, I find you should mulligan aggressively for Lackey. Yeah, I I think probably Lackey and Skull are, are very important. Um, I think if you're playing against an aggro deck, though, you got to be a little careful not to give up really good anti-aggro cards, right? But I agree that having one of your five drop enablers is very, very powerful in this list. Um, I guess we'll Mortar Coil first and then try to hit a... Yeah, would have preferred to have that to file previously, because now we don't have anything at one. I mean, Hellfire, though, will probably always clean up the board here on this turn. Maybe play South Sea Captain, and we still get a full clear. It's just taking a lot of damage, but we can always heal out damage. That's not a problem. That's good, because it means our uh, this is going to be a full seven health heal now. Right now it's five from the Hellfire, but... Uh, hey, Reese Kilbin, did you try the Magma Rager Secret Rogue? It's dope if you want to derank. <laughs> no, but I do have a Secret Rogue planned for later tonight as an experiment, so... Uh, I'm, I'm on the same page in a lot of ways. On the same page. Uh, Void Lord is gonna be... Maybe I should've went for the Lackey, though. Because right, this is only Void Lord right now. We don't have a second demon to make this good over multiple turns. Maybe the Lackey was just better. Probably not now, though, because we can Spellstone this guy and have a Void Lord out, and that's pretty darn good. I can uh, Librarian into Spellstone. Could also Faceless into Librarian. That might actually be fine. Because there's no way he's going to have enough to get through both dudes. Question is, do I want to leave five attack out there? And eight health should not really be a risk. I wish I had a second demon, though. Oh, okay, that's good news. I guess we're just going to copy this. That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. That's so much defense, and we can heal up later. We don't need to heal up now. He doesn't have direct damage in the deck, so. <clears throat> we'll have time now. I would have cubed if we had a uh, Dark Pact, right? Could have got like, multiple Void Lords out, but this will work out too. Really don't even necessarily need to Spellstone right now. 
can just trade in small guys and do the same sort of job. No, that's a good hit for him, I think. Prince Taldarum. Sure. <laughs> uh, we could cube again, but I don't have a good cube clear. Uh, man, Defile, though, is kind of baller here, in a way. Like, cube into Defile? I don't think the cube... Uh, the cube doesn't take enough damage, though, because there's nothing at 4 or 5. If we trade here... Eh, still wouldn't work, because the cube doesn't go off. Alright, let's not, let's not get too fancy here. Let's just create another one. I'm honestly surprised he hasn't conceded it. I'm clearing these up for board space, right? Like, we need board space. Um, they don't, they're not great things to kill, necessarily, but we just need board space. I got King Togwaggle today. Should I disenchant it? Probably so, uh, DD. It's, it's just hard to believe that card's ever going to be good. Honestly, it's, uh, it's a real challenge to think that that's going to be a great card. This is a good uh, Spellstone target for sure. It's a good trade target. Uh, we can play a Lackey to get our Doom Guards out, probably, and then we can do Cube Doom Guard stuff. Uh, that's a great Spellbreaker target, alternatively. So this looks like the line for 8 mana. This is kind of sick. He might concede here. No, he's not. Okay, cool. Good. Good, play it out. I like it. He's got a lot of cards in hand, so... A um, couple of them are Flame Elementals, right? Or one is a Flame Elemental. Something is a Warlock card. We haven't seen yet. Might be like a Twisting Nether. Who knows? Uh, but Togwaggle it seems pretty bad. <laughs> There's the conceit. Thought it was coming, but wasn't sure. Yeah, that felt good again. That felt right. Again, we got the weapon and things felt like they were rolling. I think that uh, having your 5-drop summon is, uh, is really what's fundamental to succeeding with this deck. Uh... See you, that guy's ass guy. I hope I didn't miss you, buddy. I'm a little behind on chat, I guess. My voice is bothering me, so I'm, I think I'm hesitant to chat. Uh, man, I didn't like you much at first, but your good analysis and attitude grew on me. <laughs> Thanks, Chance, dude. Uh, I think that's a compliment. I guess so. I guess you have to look at that objectively and say it's a compliment. So thank you, man. Um, don't feel bad if I grow against you again. I, people should watch who they want to watch. That's fun, ultimately. Against aggro keep cubing void lord and they just concede. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's uh seems great to have the constant uh three nine taunt out there. Not the same guy, but probably the same deck. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. I mean I guess it's sorta of good maybe because we get guaranteed void lords off our lackey, but I think it's not good. That's pretty slow. That's a good sign, I think. We can play Mount Giant on four, but he has coins, so it's a little risky. Um, I'm going to wait on that till we get a Spellstone. It doesn't do much. He just trades his face into it. We take a little extra damage unnecessarily. Oh, he coined early, so now, now we think we're confident that this won't get Vilespined. That's a really big coin for me. Like, yes, he gets a 4-4 out, granted. <clears throat> but this play just got a lot better. I guess we Skull, because we know that it's... Uh, I don't know. We want to Void Lord, ultimately, don't we? So maybe we have to possess Lackey. We can possess Lackey, trade it, and copy our Void Lord, and I think be in a solid spot. <clears throat> nice that he has no way to get to Vile Spine. That's so good. Uh, I used to watch Crit, but now that I found your vids and streams, your streams are way more entertaining. Thanks, Arkaz. I mean, I still like Crip. I think Crip does some cool stuff. Crip is a legend, right? He can be a little salty, but he's a very good Hearthstone player at the end of the day. At least I didn't join 10 seconds before the end of the stream like I did yesterday. Nice, Gershmuckled, yeah. That, that never feels good. I wish I could prevent that somehow, but there's really no good way to do that. Um, 3, 5... 
Oh boy, guys. We are a little bit screwed. Uh, we really need to play Possess Lackey. But we take so much damage that we might just be dead. Like, Leroy is just lethal. It's possible we stabilize, but it's going to be tough. It's The Possess Lackey is mandatory if we intend to stabilize. Mandatory. <clears throat> it's our only route to stabilization right now is Void Lord into Void Lord into Void Lord into Void Lord stuff, like all these guys right here. I don't think he's going for lethal, it looks like. He's calculating math on trading and stuff. Uh, Sonya is going to give him some extra damage, though. He now gets to cycle that damage and kill our guy, which is pretty powerful. We still get to trade into Sonya, though, so that's good for us. Sonya dies, and uh, we get our Void Lord. And we get to copy our Void Lord for free. And we get to <clears throat> Mortal Coil a, a dude as well. All of which are very, very powerful plays. And thankfully, it's a guaranteed Void Lord. Oh, it didn't really matter, but that was kind of scary for a second. We could tell Darum it, but I don't see the reason for that right now, because the mana doesn't matter. That's happening every time. The, the consequence of this draw is meaningless. Okay. That's pretty good against Vilespine Slayer. I have to say. Because <laughs> even if you Vilespine this, you're still looking at a bunch of 1-3 taunts. And that'll give me time to get to Gul'dan, hopefully, too. Spellbreaker's a little better against it, granted. Okay, so we're getting memed out right now. Alright. Alright, alright. Sure. Sure. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Um. This is gonna copy a silence version, so this is no good. Um. We probably have to play Doomguard here. I think I'm going to try to hit a uh, Spellstone off of this. Because it doesn't matter, we're dead to Leroy regardless, so 4 and 6 should be the exact same amount of damage. Although he does have a 2-1 uh, Charger still. So he can't go below 4. Because we know we're dead to 3 damage exactly. And I think we're going to play the Doom Guard to clear this, even though it risks losing our Gul'dan, which is kind of a game-losing play. But right now we're sort of playing to our outs anyway, so that's not a concern we can deal with at the moment. We just have to pretend Gul'dan's gonna survive. And he did. So now we just see whether we're dead to Leroy or not. He has three damage. Uh, we're actually close to dead anyway with the three damage. He might kill us with South Sea Captain. Um, but I don't have a choice, right? We just had to. Could have tried to do this, but I don't think we had time for that. <coughs> Sounds like he drew lethal. Yep, eviscerate off of the chittering tunneler. Wow. Okay. I can't begrudge that. <laughs> Double Spellbreaker is pretty baller. Uh, I am so far behind chat. Oh my god, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Regis Kilburn so so behind on chat, I can't even find the spot he's reading. <laughs> That's exactly right. If you played heard of any of the decks that use the darkness, I have, Jack. I saw one this morning, but I can't remember what it was, man. It was like a shaman deck or something. It was crazy looking. But I, for I don't remember the list. I'm sorry. I'd have to find it on Twitter again. I don't remember who it was or anything. It was somebody I follow on Twitter, but it was from like four or five days ago. I was looking around for decks this morning. Regis emote will be coming today. Blatantly copying Hassel Hulk, I am compelled to say. Is he a frog, a Grinch, or a powerful orc? When he gets triggered, scary or a miscolored dork. Just like Hans, a small role I did play. So with pad on the back, I will take this fine day. Hashtag charity. Beautiful, dude. Beautiful, beautiful. And and just for the record, I'm making it today. It'll take a few days to get approved, I'm sure. So don't count on it being there tonight just yet. But uh, it's on the way. But uh, yeah, <laughs> beautiful, beautiful ode to the green Regis, man. That was nice. I'm really happy about that. Um, did that guy just double silence those Void Lords? He did, yeah. He did. We kind of played all in on the Void Lords, and the double silence was not part of the plan. It was a uh, Spellbreaker, Shadow Step Spellbreaker, <laughs> which, I gotta be honest, good on him for trying it, like, respect. Hard respect there. That's amazing. I've got Twitch Prime for a month, is there something I can do to help you out? Uh, Christmas Minky, if you feel compelled to, yeah, you can subscribe to the channel for free with your Twitch Prime sub. 
There's like a button up at the top right that'll say subscribe. Um, it just helps support the channel. You get some cool stuff out of it too. You see like the uh, Hearthstone gems next to people's names. Um, that's part of it. You get some emotes to play around with. More on the way soon. I just realized I've never followed you. That's kind of funny. <laughs> we, we, you've been watching the channel for a long time, and you're subbed, but you never actually followed. That's that's hilarious, D buddy or X buddy. Excuse me. Thank you, X buddy, for the follow. Of course, appreciate it. Aha. That's hilarious. That's it. Okay, Don. That was kind of weird interacting with you after watching so many of your YouTube vids. That's hey. funny. <laughs> it's funny that that's a surreal experience. He didn't have an answer to this. I'm just going to try. It's not in Dragonfire Potion range yet, so we might just be able to hit him for 16 and kill him next turn. I don't know. We're very close to kill him anyway. Would like Doomguard Hellfire. Did he just top deck the death? He did. He top decked the death. Well, that's a little sad, but we're still hitting him for 8, so I guess I'm not too upset. And yeah, just a second on that sub. Cubes, demons, fun. <laughs> um, so let me get to these in order. Christmas Minky, I see the Twitch Prime sub coming through. Thank you, Christmas Minky, man. I appreciate the uh, the support, uh -huh. and I, I feel you because I've I've had that same interaction in the past. Like it's weird to interact with people you've watched videos and stuff. Like it's kind of surreal. It's like they're a real person. So I totally feel you. One hundred percent understand that feeling. Alright, this is pretty likely to work. I mean, there's not that much of hand we care about. The only thing we don't want to lose is the cube. Uh, maybe we want to play this first. See what it gets us. It might get us a weapon. No, second librarian. Um, well, let's do this too. Might get us the weapon. I'd prefer to play the weapon, always. Okay, let's just see. We'll lose the cube though, I'm sure of it. Nah, okay, I can live with that. Uh, and then I also missed a, uh, a Bits here from NanoDragon22. He says, Sup, Bits, Cubes, Demons, Fun. That's it, dude. You summed it up perfectly. That was ideal. Couldn't have, couldn't have imagined a better... Oh, wow. Okay. Couldn't have imagined a better cheer. Perfect. Beautifully executed. Mm. Ooh. Well, that's not very good, is it? <laughs> we don't have one in hand, so we gotta go with the lackey here. And Touch the Net with a Twitch Prime sub as well. Welcome, Touch the Net. Thank you, Touch the Net. I don't know if that's an, a weird, obscure internet reference or a basketball reference. I hope it's a basketball reference, but either way, appreciate the sub. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your new sub badge and all that fun stuff. And Deacon Cross, dude, thank you for the Golden Regis. I am still reeling from the, uh, the beautiful cheer up there at the top of the screen. The top of chat, that is. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, okay. I feel like I'm just constantly checking my uh, uh -huh. card count here. We're like dead, guys. We are very close to dead. Um, but he's also sort of close to dead. So it's like, do we play this? We don't have the like, we don't have a Doom Guard combo set up or anything. So, I think staying alive is more of a priority at this point than uh, killing him. If we had like Doom Guards lined up, we'd probably just try to kill him. I think he's gonna Ando in here. It's cool that he killed his dude for us. We need to heal badly though. We're gonna have to probably life steal our own mistress here, or maybe the yeah, probably the mistress. I need a desperate amount of health right now. He might just kill us next turn if we don't. Uh, a Dark Pact would also be kind of cool to see. There's the Doom Guard. Hmm. Could try to cube our Doom Guard already. He already silenced. Let's wait for it to come out next turn, right? We don't need to do it right now. Um, yeah, let's heal for 11 here. Could tap first. Is there any reason to tap first? We're gonna go up to 19. I mean, we're dead to like full combo anyway. Maybe we should tap first. 
What would I draw that changed anything? Dark Pact would be pretty cool because it's a lot of damage from Doom Guard. Because we could Dark Pact our cube. Could also save the, the Spellstone to, to kill the cube, but I do not think that's likely to happen. I'm going to tap. Lackey doesn't really do anything. That's kind of a waste. Not very helpful. Hey, Regis, what's your opinion on an OTK Tempest Cthulhu Priest that wins in the two turns after with Psychic Scream, Bran, and then Cthulhu? Uh, I think that's a cool idea. It's worth trying, but I Tempest is so hard to make work. We tried our hardest as, as efficiently as possible when it comes to combos, and it still didn't work for us. So, I wish you luck, but I, I think you have a pretty big challenge in coming. Silence on that. Okay. It's just a cycle. Are we actually still dead? We might be able to kill him. We have five. If we hit uh, Dark Pact, I, I think we can kill him, right? So we have a couple draws here to maybe try it. As long as this lives. This might this dying might change things. I don't know. We have 15. No, it shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter. If we, have, if we find a way to kill our cube, it should just be game over, right? <clears throat> I can't double Hellfire, because then I can't afford the cube. Uh, maybe, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is 8. He's, so he's at 18. This is 8. Um, we could do this as charging. Remember, this is only a 3-3. Three, three. It's not a 5-5. Five, five. So that would be 11. Then we could do 3. It would be 14. That wouldn't get us there. I think we have to try to tap into Dark Pact, don't we, guys? Isn't that the only way to get lethal here? Can we cube Defile ever? No. Double Defile? Um, we technically can still get it. We didn't hit it. We're dead. That's kind of garbage. That sucks. <clears throat> Coil the 3-1. That would have given us another draw, but we, we drew out anyway with the uh, Librarian. That didn't make a difference. We used all of our mana that was left. <clears throat> tap into uh, Kobold was the same difference as Coil into Tap. Man, that sucks. No Dark Pact. That far into the deck. Uh, can you kill Taldarum Cube? Uh, no, because... Maybe we could have. I don't think so, though, because we it would have been at 3 health. We would have only had 2 mana, so we would have had Defile as our out, but... Uh, we didn't have anything at 2 health, so we would have killed the 3-1 Pyro, and then nothing would have killed again to cycle the Defile. Yeah, with a two health defile, we could have we could have could have Taldarimed the cube, but nothing was at the right health total, so instead we don't get to do that. Um, against Hunter, I think this is risky. I don't think we want to do this. This plan looks a little better, but I I might even want to go for more than Hellfire. Like we might need Mistress and Mortal Coil and Global Librarian and stuff. I'm happy to keep the the lackey, but. That game was so close, man. I felt like we were... Uh, we had, like, two draws to hit the pact. I don't know how many cards were left, but it was, like... Wasn't it, like, five or six cards left? It was low. We were very, very close. Uh, Punchy TV! Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub, Punchy TV. Welcome, welcome. Enjoy your badge. Enjoy your emotes, Punchy. Uh, talk to me or Mod, and we'll try to hook you up with um, a Discord invite as well for all the Twitch sub Discord folks and uh thank you again for the support that puts us at 515 twitch subscribers guys that's still outstanding unbelievable that we're still over 500 i don't i don't know uh yeah we didn't have the defile nano dragon i don't think but it's just a shame we didn't hit the dark pack we had a really cool lethal opportunity just didn't draw it i mean there might have in hindsight been some kind of play to try to survive but it was darn near impossible I don't even know if we had any life gain left. 
Uh, I'm just gonna trade here unless he changes that candle shot or something. Patches changes that, yeah. It's an important patches, really important actually. Um, yeah, we are a little bit screwed, guys. This is cool, but uh, we'd probably end up hellfiring this turn no matter what. But there's a chance it's just not good enough. Like, what if Misha's here or Leox? Yeah, that's really bad because these come out of Leox as two 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 attack minions now. It's just not good enough. You have to try our hardest to stabilize here behind Void Lords, but the problem with the Hunters is they have a lot of direct damage, so... Dark Pact is good, too, clearly. We can... Oh, man, that's so much damage. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dark Pact. I'm just dead. Dark Pact is not enough. <clears throat> This leaves him with 9 damage, right? So I think even this kills me too. Yeah, we're dead. Hey, who cares? How's it going? Hey, Carbon Boom, how's it going? Hey, Electro Fire, should I sub to you? <laughs> sub to whoever you like, Electro Fire. I, I do just fine, man. If, if there's some other streamer out there that's struggling or seems like they're down and out and they need some support, I would encourage you to sub to that particular person. Find somebody who's really going to go a long way with the sub. You might make somebody's day. I mean, I'm going to enjoy it and appreciate it as well, but uh, you could change somebody's life. You could have somebody revolutionize their world, find some affiliate who's looking to grow and looking for support or something. I would prefer you did that. Uh, value Strats, nice name. Thank you, Value Strats, the $5 sub. Appreciate it, Value Strats. And uh, that's amazing. Appreciate the support, Value Strats. $5 sub in particular, that means you're going out of your way to sub. That's always awesome. Appreciate it. So thank you, thank you. And uh, certainly enjoy your new emotes, value strats. There's more on the way. Enjoy your new subscriber badge. And uh, again, either whisper me or a mod if there's one around. And uh, we'll try our best to get into the subscriber discord sooner rather than later as well. And nice little cute hey there, value strats. I like it. I dig it. Happy Feast of Winter Vale. Clown. Hey, we got Drizzed here. Drizzed072000. Subscribe with Twitch Prime. Big RA Salvatore fan, I guess. Um, I read uh, one... Or it's, is it Salvatore? Salvatore? I don't really know how you say his name. but Anyway, I read one big compendium of that, but not all the books or anything. But I'm a, I'm a fan of Drizzed nonetheless. So thank you for the Twitch Prime sub, Drizzed. And uh, welcome, welcome. Of course, same story. Enjoy your badges, enjoy your emotes, guys. We got a ton of subs this morning already. It's a little mini sub train starting. That's awesome. Welcome, everyone. I think that puts us at, uh, yeah, 517 subscribers, guys. That's a ton. So thank you, dudes. Yeah, this is one off. That sucks. Hey, Reese, have you ever heard of the Legend 47? I thought it was like the Legend 27. I still have not heard of it. But uh, I, I thought it was 27. I thought I'd learned it. I, I didn't watch the video yet, though. I need to learn about it. First streamer who didn't immediately, if only as a joke, say yes. I definitely should sub. No, I, legitimately, I, I do fine. Don't, uh, don't stress on my behalf, for sure. Uh, let's hold. But we all want the Regis stream to grow. It's capitalism at its finest. Support the things that make you feel... that that you feel makes the superior product. Uh, yeah, I agree with that. I'm a pro-capitalism person over here. I try my best to make it enjoyable for you guys, so hopefully it is. Are we better off going possessed lackey here, guys? Like, the mountain giant just looks so appealing, though. Because it trades into so much. Like, if we possess lackey and he silences it, like, aren't we just completely screwed? But how do we win if we don't possess Lackey, right? Like, what's the win condition? I guess we have a little bit of time. And we could hit a, um, a Dark Pact. Or actually, we could possess Lackey Defile on a future turn as well. <sighs> Is this going to get Vile Spine? He has the coin. So Vile Spine is actually more of a risk, I think, than, than a Silence. So let's go ahead and do this. I think Vile Spine's riskier. 
It's, it's guaranteed he can do it because he has the coin still. <clears throat> yeah, I gave my prime sub to Hobbs. Might switch it up next month. Hey, Hobbs seems like an awesome dude too. I don't get a chance to watch him, but I know a lot of the people who like this stream also enjoy Hobbs. So I'm sure there's uh, a lot of similarities. Okay, so we did hit the vile spine. We are just like in trouble, guys. We are in a little bit of a pickle here. We can maybe defile, right? No, we can't get anything to two very easily. No, we can't. We can't get anything to two or three is the problem. If we get it to two, we don't get it to three. <laughs> right? All right? If we get this to... We can get this to two, but then nothing is at three. I guess I could double defile... No, that doesn't seem very good either. Um, mountain Giant into Taldarum's not very good. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Is there actually a good defile here? I don't know. We don't have enough mana to Taldarum and double defile. I think this is garbage, but it's just what we have to do. Maybe we can do this first and then see where it goes from there. Dark Pact would have been easier to make decisions previously. Ugh, that's not a great set to discard there, guys. It's got a good trade here. Really wanted the Void Lord around. I don't know if we're doing anything right here. It feels like everything's just a little bit off. Is there a communist switch emote? Probably somewhere, yeah. I was a bigger fan of Calvin over Hobbs. Dude, I love Calvin and Hobbs. I have, like, every Calvin and Hobbs comic. I have multiple, like, collector's edition Calvin and Hobbs. I went through a really big comic strip phase and, uh... Oh! Okay. Well, that'll do it. That makes it a little easier to win. <laughs> I don't think we made a particularly good play there. So I'm curious. Somebody just opened a Neptulon in my friends list. That is a weird card to see opened right now. You don't expect people to be opening Neptulon packs. <laughs> What's our win rate with this deck? I feel like we're doing terrible. I'm just not into it still. We're at 38%, 3 and 5. I don't know if I'm pl misplaying objectively at all. It just feels like we're having trouble. And we haven't done any crazy, crazy... Uh, I feel like we haven't had a good cube turn yet. Maybe I'm not being greedy enough. Maybe being too greedy. I don't know. Yes, me too. Calvin and Hobbes is great. Yeah. Great, great. Never commercialized either. It's just crazy. I have all the Calvin and Hobbes books in storage somewhere. Nice. Yeah, you guys are... You guys are all... That was you screwed that got Neptulon? Nice, man. That is not expected ever. It's great, though. So we actually have a pretty good skull in the Minari hand. So I'm sure this is the guy that's running oozes. Love to see a Mountain Giant against Druid. Ramp Druid, are you kidding me? Mountain Giant would be the dream. Hellfire, less of a dream. Um... Mortal Coil? <gasps> oh my god. We did it. We did it, guys. We did it, boys. It's even going to be a little cheap. Could even dark pack something if we wanted. Not that we would, but we could. I was so sad when Calvin and Hobbes ended. Sad, sad day. Yeah, I, I certainly wasn't a fan when it ended, I don't think. I came along later. Caught up. But, uh... Maybe you should go back to the Rune Spear deck. <laughs> <laughs> I think you said before that you never played Magic the Gathering, but if you played Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, no, Jack. I really haven't played any um, well-known card games. Or, well, really no card games. That's just well-known. There's just really no card games at all. Mm, this takes the most amount of damage off the board. I don't think we need to value trade when there's things like Swipe and Hero Power. Let's just take the most amount of damage off the board for this thing to live, maybe. He might still swipe it, but um, at least then he doesn't get the cleanup. Just Fandral, Jade Idol. 
Hmm. Hmm. It's gonna trade Wrath. Okay. We don't have a good way to kill this Fangel, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to just probably give him some value and go for the Skull line. I think we could probably kill it, but let's just try to get a good Skull off and win the game. That's nine cards in hand. We still haven't used the coin. I'd love to see a cube soon. Boy, would I love to see a cube right now. I think we have to go for Doom Guards, right, and not... Somebody just opened a Golden Hemet Nessing Wary, too. Wow. Less than three, less than three, less than three, less than three. <laughs> Broiler94! Thank you, Broiler, dude. That's really, really awesome, man. $5 donation. Thank you, and appreciate all the hearts as well. Less than three, less than three, less than three. You're right back at you, dude. That's incredible. Um... Bone Mare and Jay Druid. I hate everything about Hearthstone at the moment. <laughs> um, Defile ever good here. Like Hellfire, Defile. It's one, two, three. But this also dies. I don't love that the Doom Guard dies, but I think we have to resolve this board, so. Not a lot of choice in the matter. Oh, we don't have a three, actually. Whoopsie. It can take a trade, so that's fine. The Doom Guard would be dead anyway. Thankfully for us, we're getting Void Lords for free regardless. So let's go ahead and uh, Kobold Librarian here. I don't think our health total is relevant at all. Goldan, kind of good to see, I guess. We've killed one Doom Guard, so Gul'dan's summoning five damage at the moment. We really need to get multiple Doom Guards, I think, off to win this game. Just a big old board of Doom Guards. J. Druid, what a cool deck concept. <laughs> What's the difference between bits and donating? Uh, it's just really up to the preference of the person. Bits do give you an icon next to your name. Donating does not. Um, but it's just whatever channel people like best. I, I don't care at all. To me, it's completely irrelevant which you use or prefer. Um, I don't really know what to do here, guys. Like, we're gonna get a lot of Void dudes out of Gul'dan, but who cares? Like, that's not enough to win the game. He's gonna UI here and refill his hand and the game is over. This is UI. He's had it since turn one. He's just gonna trade UI. Trade this and UI. So I don't, I don't know what the win condition is. Is Gul'dan going to be enough just because of the giant body stall with all the Void Lords and stuff? I, I don't think it is going to be enough. Because we're going to have two Void Lords and a Doom Guard. It might be enough. Maybe you just can't clear that board if we get our Doom Guards back. But unfortunately, we're going to have too many 1-3s in the pool as well. So Gul'dan's not even potentially going to summon all of our Doom Guards and or Void Lords. Oh, wow. No, apparently no Ultimate Infestation. Well, that might be good for me. Aha! We could like spell stone, trade, mortal coil. It's pretty good. Uh, Prince Taldarum. Could make a lot of Void Lords right now, but I think I'm gonna try this instead. I still think we need Doom Guards to win this one. Really didn't want to see. Well, that's fine. We can summon it next turn. Yeah, and then we'll copy it with. Okay, yeah, this is good. Uh, we can tap because we don't have any other demons, so it's fine to tap. Okay. Alright, so now we do actually have a win condition. We have Doom Guard into Prince Daldarum. That's going to give me two Doom Guards that die. I'm thinking about silencing this Void Lord so that we don't, uh... So that we don't put any Void Lords and any extra 1-3s in the pool for Gul'dan. Although this may not even die by that time, so that may not be relevant. That's probably not even a consideration. Let's not uh, actually faceless it instead, because it's good to trade right now. Yeah, I don't think that thing's going to die, so... Actually, let's just go ahead and, uh... Let's just do this. We're close to winning right now. This might be enough to win next turn, so let's try this. Uh, Mimron's head! Nice, dude! I didn't see that one get opened. I was... 
watching the game a little too closely. Spreading plague, of course. Yeah, why wouldn't I expect that? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'd love to see a Hellfire right about now. Would love. Oh my god, another faceless. <laughs> Alright. This isn't perfect, but I'm doing okay. Oh, I just missed a point of crap. I just missed a point of hell. Whoops. Whoops. I'm just gonna try to build a giant board here, right, guys? We don't necessarily care about uh, silencing something in the future. This is enough to win the game next turn, so. Like, he's gotta push through all these taunts with the 7 7, and then we have 15, 18, 22 damage going face right now. I think that might just be game right there. Do we have enough? Uh, 13 plus 4 is 17, and he's at 18. Uh, currently don't have enough. Well, maybe we do. Yeah, because a 1-3 will survive. So that should just be lethal. We have enough board space. We should have enough board space. Oh, he traded in a weird way. Can still trade through and do, I think, do 18. Confident we can do 18, right? Maybe we'll just draw Hellfire and make it simple. Nice. I think we got him anyway. Yeah, no cards are playable. Cool. Yay, exact lethal. It was important playing the 4-3, I think. We had to get bodies out. Like, he just plagued. Um, nice. That was a tough win. I don't think that was a freebie. That was a good win. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's play one more game, and then we'll do something else. Uh, what happened to Umbra? Uh, a lot of people just cut Umbra because she's more about like cheesy OTK combos as opposed to like consistency, so she can be a dead card a lot of the time. So a lot of people move more to this Giants list that has a more consistent mid-game play with Giants. Like it just gives you a big threat sometimes. It's its own win condition a lot of the in a lot of matchups. Um, guess Lackey's a keep. How dare him doom guard. I don't think we want to see this in hand unless we have exactly a uh, skull. Fortunately. I have no idea what the meta is right now. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's weird. I'm not seeing representative... Um, my gameplay is not representative of the stats I'm seeing. But Aggro Paladin and Murloc Paladin have the highest win rates right now. Uh, then it's Face Hunter, Tempo Rogue, Pirate Warrior, Dragon Priest, Zoo Warlock, Secret Mage, Aggro Druid. There's like the list goes for like 20 decks in tier two right now, according to HS Replay. So um, it's uh, it's something. Now as far as like most popular decks at Legend right now, the most popular deck is Highlander Priest, and then Q Block is number two, Dragon Priest is number three, Secret Mage is number four, Tempo Rage is Tempo Rogue, excuse me, is number five. Uh, that that holds up pretty much through rank 5, although rank 5 has more Q-Block. Yeah, Q-Block is like number 1 on ranks 3, 4, and 5 right now. But it, sta it stays pretty similar throughout the whole thing. Those are kind of the top 5 most popular decks. Aggro Paladin is probably the best deck, but only the most popular... Or, or only in the top five at rank one. You can tell where people are tryharding with Aggro Paladin at rank one, trying to push to Legend. It's kind of funny. Uh, that's a good draw, I think. It's really, really good for us with Tomb Guard. Love to see a Mountain Giant, because we don't have an answer to Mountain Giant. We need to have the first Mountain Giant if he runs Giants. <coughs> He's going to burn a card, yeah. Not yet, but close. Dark Pact is kind of garbage here. Um, gonna have to Defile if we don't get something here. Mortal Coil doesn't help us, so Defile's fine. It's mostly just throwing the card away, right? And then Skull is good. I'd love to see a cube, though. Where is the cube? He's gonna play a Mountain Giant here, I think. Umbra instead, wow. Okay, our play is going to change a little bit. We can't let Umbra 
Well, can we let Umber live? What's he gonna do with it? He doesn't have a Doom Guard out or anything. Don't we just let Umbra live? Like, what does it matter? What difference could it possibly make here if Umbra lives or not? There's nothing to cube yet. Let's just play this. I, I, I don't think Umbra actually matters. I think he's just throwing her out to, uh... Oh, Possessed Lackey does it. Oh, I'm stupid. Umbra does matter. Umbra matters really well. Although, sort of. Only sort of. Because we're still going to Hellfire here and wreck his board, so... I guess it doesn't really matter too much. This is annoying, though. Okay. I guess Umbra matters, guys. Umbra matters. I didn't even think about Lackey. <laughs> he cubes and he gets another Umbra. That would have been fine. See, that's what I thought was going to happen. But uh, the Lackey is worse. Although, I have to say, all of his demons are now out of the pool. Like, he, uh... Well, he, gets, he could have some Doom Guards, I guess, somewhere still. But... But, uh... We don't care too much about this sort of board. It's the Doom Guards that win us the game. Not uh, Void Lords, I think. Hey, Xanalon! He says, just a suggestion, when you're trying decks, can you put the codes in the title or make a command? Um, I, I can, sort of, but it, it's a surprising pain. I know it sounds like it's not a difficult thing to do, but it, due to my stream setup, it actually becomes a, a challenging thing to do. Um, man, I don't think I have a good defile here, right? Does Taldarium give me a good defile? No, everything goes to three. Nothing goes to one. Does this give me a good defile? No. Does not. No good defile yet. Let's just make a bunch of Doom Guards, though. That's fine. I think I'm dead yet. Let's go and do that. Um, I'm keeping all my filth in just like Regis Kilbin. Whoop. What do you mean, Spicy Mamer? I don't know what you mean. Uh, but Xanalon, I, I, if I had more time to prep the stream, I would. But I usually am like so crunched for time. I I would love to have like chat contribute that. Like if they could find the deck list and, and drop it in chat and stuff. That would be the most important thing for me. But, uh, so a lot of people are telling me, like, somebody said copy the Void. I don't think that's right, guys. We have Gul'dan. If we can kill a bunch of Doom Guards, I think we're going to be really happy. I'm not sure how much I care about Void Lords. Like, that's just a big pile of garbage when you get Gul'dan. I'm looking for, like, a win condition with a bunch of Doom Guards. Um, we might eventually copy one just to stay alive here the next turn or two, but... I don't know how many demons getting summoned right now, but... But I would rather have my, my Doom Guards being what I resummon, as opposed to my uh, Void Lords here. We have a really good Defile right now. Ooh, could Spellbreaker that too. I think I'll save that though. Yeah, let's do this. So this is currently going to summon how many Doom Guards? Two, I think, right? Two. Yeah, two. Maybe three? I don't know. Honestly, not sure, but... Oh, man, we could faceless that and then silence it. That's kind of cool. Maybe we just tell it because we don't really care about the... Well, what difference does that make, though? We don't need... We may not need the faceless anymore. Uh, we could, we could tell Dermot and then cube it and get a bunch of uh, demon cards, but then we can't silence it. I kind of want to silence it. Like I think it's a good silence target. Let's just faceless. The, the stats actually matter here, so. Let's try that. 
Uh, I love Warlock in this meta. Yeah, it's interesting to play. I'm still not totally in love with it. I tried to make a rhyme with your name. Oh, I didn't see that. Let me see. <clears throat> Regis Kilbin. I'm keeping all my filth in just like Regis Kilbin. Oh, I see it. I see it. I gotcha. I gotcha. Nice rhyme. Are you the only one who can make edit commands? You could have a stream admin who changes that if it's possible. I think so. I think I can do that, but I'd have to look into that. I, I do everything myself right now. I have all the cards to play cube like, but the mirrors are such fiestas that I can't do it. Yeah, we're experiencing that right now. I don't really know what to make of this. I think we're probably just going to summon a couple Gul'dan's though off, uh, or excuse me, a couple Doom Guards off Gul'dan. Is that good enough or do we need to wait? Do we need to wait to get our other Gul'dan out? Have we also killed a Void Lord, guys? Why do we only have one Void Lord showing? Do I only run one Void Lord? I run two. Did we kill a Void Lord? Did he like silence a Void Lord somewhere? I really don't remember. This guy's deck definitely does some different stuff than my deck. He has some pieces I 100% do not have. Maybe we just go demons right now. He has eight cards left. It's not really enough. Maybe we go double double lackey. Maybe we just go Gul'dan to make the hero power effective. We don't really have to destroy his deck. He's not going to destroy ours because he lost his Rin. So that's not a threat. Unless he has an Azoth, which is possible. <clears throat> I don't think I'm worried about being dead yet, really. I think that's a false concern. Maybe we just cube the lackey here to get another Doom Guard and Void Lord out. I don't love getting two lackeys back, necessarily. That's not very powerful, but... Yeah, maybe we just play both lackeys. That's fine. Let's stop overthinking it. We can cube a Doom Guard and make a great play next turn, so there's, there's definitely upside here. Hopefully he pulls the Void Lord first if he clears these. And then the Doom Guard. Because I want him to have a harder time killing the Doom Guard, right? I want the Doom Guard to be a challenge. So that the Doom Guard lives. Okay, so there is an Azoth, yeah. That's a bit of a pain. Um, I can summon a lot of Doom Guards, but how much work are they actually going to do? <laughs> Let's just sort through this here. There's one, there's two, trade here, cube the doom guard, copy the cube, dark pack the cube, Play this guy last for some reason for fun. And hope that we can survive? I don't. We should be able to with Void Lord. Was his Nazoth turn enough, I guess, is the question. And are we ever going to be able to piece through his um, Gul'dan turn? Because he's had like 75 <laughs> Void Lords die. <laughs> he's killed four Void Lords, so. Uh, is there an upside of playing the seals or is it way too late? I think it's way too late, right? Like, he's already running out of cards. By the time I got through this, I mean, I might end up playing them if we just need bodies on board eventually. Um, just because we're running out of threats. But, uh, I think we have to play for tempo right now. Our health's a little risky. And it's just, he's gonna be out of cards by the time we get that far. Has he got a silence? Just an amethyst spell stone. Sure, it's pretty good. He might be able to kill me almost here. I need to be able to, to trade this in to get more Doom Guards. Um, he's running out of time. He's got to hurry. Is he trying to hit a Defile? I feel like Defile is just like... Oh my god. He's killing as much of his board as mine. Is Defile really worth it? I feel like Defile's not worth it here. I... I don't think it's worth it. That seems like a terrible defile to me, honestly. I don't know how many Doom Guards we're going to get, but there's a lot in the pool, so... 
We, I don't think he's dead or anything, but he's going to take a lot of damage. <laughs> Five Doom cards. <laughs> he probably runs Twisting Nether and stuff, but my thought at this point is, is our hero power is a huge threat to his life total. So let's just get Gul'dan going, even if he's not dead quite yet. Let's uh, let's just put him on outs, right? Like, let's just kill him soon. He's only got two mana. We're hitting him for three every turn. He's close to fatigue. Like, how could he possibly win from here, right? We're pretty far ahead in fatigue, so. <clears throat> okay. I could, I could, I should have played a seal. There's no harm in playing this, I guess. No harm at all. Uh, he doesn't have any Doom Guards, so we're not going to take that much damage. It's mostly going to be one threes. It's literally all one threes. Wow. <laughs> Hellfire, please. Hellfire, one time. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh. So he's pretty close to fatigue. Uh, he's going to be healing three per turn as well. It's going to be dealing some amount of damage per turn. Seven. Uh, we can kill some of these, though. I think I'm still mostly going to go face. Uh, maybe this is bad, actually. I'm going to heal him too much. Oh, uh, that's probably bad, actually. Crap, I shouldn't have played this, maybe. I was thinking I need to stay alive, but... I'm healing him a little bit too. That's kind of some downside. We'll see. Five Doom Guards. Ha ha ha. Hashtag Bitrain. Hashtag Charity. Hashtag How Long Will This Game Goon? I don't know why she didn't read that, Mighty Right. I didn't hear it, right? I'm not crazy. I don't think she read that. I guess he is trading too, though. That buys me more time. But I have enough heal. I shouldn't have even worried about the heal part of it. I should have just went face. No need to play that. I think that was a mistake. Hopefully we just draw Hellfire, though. That'll save me a lot of trouble for damage. It's got to happen in the next three draws, but I'd rather see it now rather than later. Mountain Giant would be okay as well, I guess. But I much prefer Hellfire. His board is full, so it's not like he's going to be playing more stuff. Now we have a lot of healing in deck right now, too. We have a heal for 13. I, th I think we win this race most of the time. The vast majority of the time. If we get Hellfire, particularly because we hit him for 8, right? <laughs> it's going to be great. Uh, Hellfire will be an instant lethal, I think. So we have a 50-50 for just lethal next turn. Uh, maybe not if he starts trading, though. But that's also just buying me more time. Spellstone, trade, trade. Sure. We'll just cube it up. Thankfully, I always have a, a minion here to Dark Pact as I need it. Hellfire? Another Mountain Giant. Awesome. Great news. Where's the Hellfire? Bitladdy often doesn't read my messages. What did I do to you slash her? I don't know. Is there something in there that triggered it? Like, sometimes, you know, it's like you say a word that she thinks is a bad word and she won't read it. But I don't think that was the case this time around. This looks like Spellstone Hellfire uh, trade. I'm pink face. Oh, I can actually get more heal here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't be stupid, Regis. All right, so we have to win from here, right? Like, surely we win from here. We have another heal if we need it as well. And he's taking way more fatigue than me. <clears throat> what does he have left to play, though? How much heal does he have? He might have more heal than me. I don't know. Maybe we should have played these demons sooner. Like, now I'm starting to regret my decision a little bit. <laughs> this game is such a clown fiesta, as they say. Blow up his deck, yeah. I know, right? Um, if he doesn't play anything here, do we just win? Like, is he trying to play a spellstone? Like, if we don't ever play a minion, he can't play a spellstone to heal. And we're way ahead on the damage, so I don't think we're ever going to play a minion unless we kill it ourselves for a heal, for like a burst heal. 
Um, he could, I guess he could play his own minion in Spellstone to some extent, but he probably doesn't want to do that. Yeah, that's what he's going to do. We can also do that. Um, but he has another Spellstone too, so... Let's just wait. His is accelerating so much faster than ours, and he doesn't have any burst damage. Let's just wait to do the same thing here. Catch him off guard. Every time this tries to go off. Thank god this isn't Alaneth, right? Um, okay, let's do it this turn. It's fine. So he's dead, like, n not next turn, maybe, with the turn after, I think. He's going to take, he's going to heal to 13. He's going to take 6 and then 9. Yeah, I don't, I don't he's going to have to do something magical here to stay alive the following turn after this one. Because <clears throat> here he goes down to 4. And then he heals to 7 and he takes 7. So he has to do something extra than just, uh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> Yikes! Not playing a minion there, I think, was really important because of that spellstone. We never gave him the opportunity to heal. Like, he may not have had any minions left, right? He had, like, Defile, another Dark Pact, but probably no actual minions. Maybe another Twisting Nether. It's really, really important that we didn't play another minion. Woo! That was a good game. And there you go. That was the Zelay Giants Cube Warlock. I'm still not the biggest fan of of Cube Warlock. I don't know why exactly that is. I just haven't really jumped on the bandwagon for this deck. That said, this was a fun list to play. Clearly it has some strengths. Clearly Cube Warlock is sticking around. It's a powerful way to play the deck. It's all over the meta right now and it doesn't seem to be losing any sort of steam. So if you're inclined to play it with Mountain Giants, and a lot of people do like this list right now, then this feels like a good one. It makes sense to me. It's the only real Cube Warlock I've played thus far, so I might be a little biased in that regard, but it, it was solid. It worked. It, we won some games, obviously. So all that said, if you guys have thoughts, comments, questions about this particular version of Cube Warlock or the archetype in general, of course, leave those in the comments below. But until then, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, game on.